exhibition game, a lot of things going on in town, but I thought we had great turnout. So appreciative of all the people that came out. As everyone knows, it wasn't a part of the season ticket package, so all our loyal fans uh, made the $10 donation to the Santa Fe Strong. I just can't thank everybody enough on behalf of our staff, our players, our program, everything. And then I really want to recognize the students. We had a great uh, student turnout. Um, if we can keep building on that, I think we can continue to make this a tough place to play. You know, last year we had the best home court in college basketball. I think we were 17-1. and one. Um, Nobody was better. And so I just uh, want to thank everybody for coming out and getting us started. Obviously, we have a three-game homestand to start the season. It starts Tuesday night against Incarnate Word. I think that's a 6.30 tip-off. So if you guys in each of your own ways can help us uh, get the word out there. But uh, three good teams coming into Lubbock to start the, start the season with home games. And we're just uh, looking to get off to a good start. So um, appreciate UTEP playing this game. And I uh, know we raised some real money for a cause that's really important to us. Uh, said it before this week. You know, that hits home to everybody. I know me personally, my girlfriend's a high school teacher. My brother is a high school teacher. When you see these awful things happening, like happened at Santa Fe High School, it just hits home to all of us. But there's a lot of strong, courageous, tough people down there. And, um, you know, one of our very own, Cliff Owens, that played here for Coach Dickey, uh, one of the best coaches this school's ever had. And Cliff was a great player. Uh, he played there at Santa Fe High School. And I remember early in my career going in there trying to recruit Cliff. Um, didn't get it done, but tried to recruit him. Um, so we hope that we'll raise some good money tonight and send that down there to the people that are still in need. So, um, again, just want to thank the crowd tonight and recognize the students. You know, we greatly appreciate it. Open up to questions for Coach and Norrence. Norrence, I guess what's the biggest thing you all kind of figured out today? I know that's one of the things you were all looking to do. Uh, nothing we really figured out about us. We just know that we got to be one of the best defensive teams in the country. Uh, we let up in the second half. Uh, we had some turnovers late too, but we just know we we're, this team is going to go as far as our defense takes us. So, what was the biggest challenge uh, that UTEP kind of posed with all their quick guards? Uh, they have a they have quick guards and get in the lane do, uh, and create things for their whole offense. So it was tough staying in front of them. We try to push them to the side, but. We got to see the film and get better on it tomorrow. How do you kind of feel you contributed and what was it like kind of playing along Tariq? Uh, me and Tariq just did our jobs. Uh, we rebounded well. Uh, we could have got way more rebounds and, and finishes. That's something we need to uh, keep working on and study the film. Uh, I respect Norrence's humility, but 12 and 12 and 19 minutes, he played great tonight. I'm so proud of Norrence. He's had a hell of an off season, working hard, changing his game. He's a leader. You know, I thought he played like an all Big 12 kind of guy out there tonight. You know, I, I thought he played played great. Norris, what was it, what was it like getting back uh, or getting on the court with some of the new guys, Tariq and Matt, and getting your first real game action with these guys? Uh, it was fun. It was fun to see those guys in, in this atmosphere. It was fun for us getting back to playing basketball in this, in this arena with our fans. So it was just fun. It was a good experience for our first game. Coach, uh, in what ways do you think that uh, this year's team is going to be different from last year's team? Or, or do you see this team as maybe being a little bit more of a physical, uh, sort of an imposing kind of a team than you had last year? Well, every team's different. Every journey's different. Uh, so um, you know, I really don't do great comparing things. I just The task at hand is the guys we have. We've got, we got a good team. We have, I think we have a chance to be a really good defensive team. I agree with what Norn said. Uh, tonight we had some great defensive possessions, but then we had a lot of possessions that you know we just were one play off. You know, you got four guys doing what they're supposed to do, one guy makes a mistake, and you get exposed. So, but I do think a big part of our identity this year will be a good defensive team. Also, like our balance on offense. I think we had six or seven guys that could get to dig double figures on any given night. You know, and that's what we strive for. Uh, and then I, th I think we do have some um, some good bigs. Got a lot of confidence from the guy to my right and Tariq. Uh, played good tonight, and Malik is coming. And then young Josh and Ball is going to help us as the season goes on. Coach, obviously losing Zaire and um, Zach and all those guys. How do you think Tariq kind of filled that uh, filled that void of athleticism? Yeah, it's early. I mean, we're a work in progress, but I think we saw a couple of the above the rim plays that there's only a few guys in college basketball that can make, and Tariq's one of them. Um, I think our guards have got to get used to playing with him. He's such a weapon. Um, you know, like uh, Coach Penders is in town. This week, it's been great spending time with Coach. But one of many things he said uh, to me is, "You got a real weapon in Owens. A lot of people don't have him. He's a guy that can play above the rim." So, 
Um, I think it's a team effort. It's not just about Tariq doing his craft. It's about other guys knowing that he's there and making passes and screens and stuff like that. You talk about Brandon. I saw him kind of on the bench, kind of yelling out, yelling out calls and stuff like that. Kind of talk about his um, his maturity from when he first arrived to now. Yeah, every guy's got a role on a team, and, and one of Brandon's many roles, other than being one of our best players, is he's kind of our emotional guy. You know, the mood of our team kind of goes as Brandon's mood goes. And, um, you know, I, th I think he's embraced that role. Um, he's an emotional guy. He has a lot of intensity. Uh, when Brandon is right, he's really good. And uh, tonight, I thought he was right. This can be for both of you. What did you guys think of Matt Mooney's dive over the table, head, and then heels up? <clears throat> Uh, it was intense, man. Uh, whenever you see a teammate selling out for his brothers and selling out for a play like that, it just it's it's in, it's it's contagious. Guys want to sell out like that every play, so it was big time. Coach, uh, what role do you see uh, Deshaun playing uh, for you this year? What's he going to bring? Yeah, a lot of a lot of things. He's a he's a versatile player. He's kind of a positionless guy. You know, I know like. A couple of years ago, we've always kind of played motion, positionless. We've always loved guys who can do different things. And, you know, it was almost like uh, we weren't cool. Now, Golden State and the NBA, the way it's going, kind of positionless is kind of a cool word now. So all of a sudden, people kind of like what we're doing. But Deshaun's a guy, the, the kind of player we've always liked to recruit, a guy that can play multiple positions, a guy that can guard different positions. Um, I think tonight's his first Division One game. The thing I love about Deshaun is he wants to be coached. You can get on him. He doesn't have a you know an ego or hurt feelings. He's not going to take his wagon and go home. He just looks you in the eyes and says yes, sir. Got on him pretty hard the day by design, just trying to get him ready for when these lights come on on Tuesday. And then he comes back, makes a great play in zone offense at the high post, gets a big time rebound on one end. So Deshaun's a guy we're really counting on this year to be in the rotation and you know and to help us. Coach, we haven't talked about him, but Jarrett obviously contributed. Like up and down. Can you talk about his play and kind of how did you kind of expect this from him so soon in an exhibition game? Yeah, I thought Culver, uh, you know, the guy wants to win so bad. Nobody wants to win more than Culver. I think guys like me and Norris want to win as much, but nobody wants to win more than Jared Culver. And I thought in the first half, he just wanted to do what he needed to do to help the team. He's real aggressive. I think he got 14 shots at half, and I was okay with that. I thought a couple of them might have been rushed, but for the most part, um, he took what the defense gave him. He's an aggressive player. I mean, I want him to shoot it every time he's open. I want him to be aggressive. Second half, he calmed down a little bit, started making the right play, and uh, opened up with his floor game a little bit. Um, but I thought, you know, I'm sure Jarrett would be the first to tell you some things he's got to work on. But tonight, I thought he led us in a lot of ways. He was fearless. Coach, uh, with Kyler, I guess, what, what, what did you like from him? It seemed like he was shooting with confidence today. He's a talented young player. You know, he's learning how to play at this level. Um, you know, I think defensively he has ability to be a Big 12 guard and guard the ball. He's just got to do it with consistency. Uh, made a great play late in the shot clock. Had a nice uh, pick and roll. I think Norris in the middle of the floor and about halfway through the second half. So I mean, we all see the talent. We just got to be consistent. And a lot of freshmen around the country can kind of grow into their roles. We're, we're not at that luxury. We need Kyler to figure it out quick. Um, but he's in the film room. Uh, you know, late late last night he's in the film room. Uh, 10 o'clock at night and. He wants to win. I got a lot of confidence in him. I think he's going to be a really good young player in college basketball this year. And I know you talked about the defense. I guess what were you all able to kind of figure out today, especially when you got within three points and you guys were able to kind of string some uh, possession together where you got some stops and then you got some points? Yeah, well, first, I think you got to give UTEP a lot of credit. Uh, you know, Rodney is a really good coach. He's been coaching a long time. Uh, I met Rodney when he's a high school coach at Angleton High School in South Houston, and some I've always had a lot of respect for. Did a great job as an assistant coach in this league at Texas, signing great players and was part of their Final Four team. He was a head coach at Fresno for seven years and just knows what he's doing. He's in the early stages of building the program here. He's investing scholarships and sit-out guys. Rodney and I both were hoping that the sit-out guys were able to play in this game, uh, but it's another NCAA rule that I don't understand. Um, but uh, I think Rodney and his team deserve a lot of the credit for their runs. It wasn't necessarily what we were doing wrong. I mean, sometimes you got to give the other guy credit. And I think UTEP did some good things tonight against us. Uh, defensively, we got a lot to figure out. Tonight was kind of the start, um, but but it's a great it's a great uh, opportunity to play against a good team. We respect some valuable video that we can watch. You know, tonight. One more question, Coach. Is there a timetable on Moore's return? Kayvon. Kayvon, yeah. Yeah, yeah. So uh, kind of every day, you know, he had the successful surgery, bones healed, um, just trying to strengthen other parts of his leg. Same kind of injury Paul George had. We all know he's set out a whole season. 
Uh, we're thinking Kayvon might not have to sit out the whole season, but we're, we're being very cautious and patient. Uh, the objective is not for him to score a basket in November his freshman year. The objective is for him to be a great college player and play in the NBA one day. So we're being really conservative with it. Um, Dr. Crawford and his staff have done a great job. I think right now, to answer your question, Kayvon's probably kind of uh, week by week. I think he could be back on the practice floor as early as maybe next week, and then we'll kind of see. Um, but if he can get himself back, you know, we think he could play a big role in this year's team still. Thank you.